Okay guys, it is the Brick Council here, and uh, today <clears throat> I don't have a LEGO review, but a uh, mock review of my own. So uh, to start off, um, I call it the Jungle Hideout. So uh, to start off, we get um, right here, it's an explorer. Uh, it's that person from the Indiana Jones Crystal Skull uh, campsite set. And then we have Indiana Jones up there. Then we have a little dude in here who's uh, been a little unlucky with the crocodiles. We have a, a bloody shark fin. Looks like he's been in a fight with the crocodiles. Um, got some nice trees. Uh, this crocodile swivels. Um, this one doesn't. <clears throat> this one does. So then, uh, that's the little swamp area. Then back there, we have the, uh, treasure. And then we got the scorpions, and there is a snake there. There we go. Um, and then in here, there's a campfire. And then if we turn it a little, there's a skeleton that's been sort of eaten by all the ants and scorpions over there. So, he's been a little unlucky too. Um, then we have a monkey on the leaves, and I just took a ton of these, and the smaller ones, and I connected it all the way around to here, so it's like one big leaf way, I guess. Uh, we have a little pi uh, parrot. We got the two pirates, one right there, Captain Brickbeard, and him. Ah, sorry guys. Uh, right there. Then we have a little archway right here. Um, I didn't need it. I just sort of added it on with the uh, tree pieces. Got some plants. Um, then they're sort of high tech pirates. They have a laser gun. So, um, so let's get to the entrance way. So, to get in, oh, uh, to get in, what you do is you're gonna like tap that button, like pretend that a minifigure would hit it. And this lava rock wall will slide over. Um, then once that opens, you walk through. And then once you get through, this will close. Then you're probably like, oh, well, it's a solid rock. But um, no. So what you do, <clears throat> I'll use a uh, regular figure for this. So you have them... They rest their hand on this panel, and then you make the leaf piece go up, and it'll rest there. And then you put them inside, and you close it. Then, uh, if we turn it, we can see the inside of it. So, um, we have a telescope and like a knife there. Uh, here's that minifigure we tossed in. We have a little oven right back there. <clears throat> uh, let me... And what's cool about this is you can have a ton of playability up here or you detach this piece and then you can play inside. And uh, those stairs go up and then you can walk from here. So it's a little square. Uh, we have this little bucket for stuff. Uh, we got some apples. And then if we look right sort of behind the stairs, there's jewels and um, it's right in there. Uh, and there's like a bucket of jewels and stuff. So, um, oh, and I uh, forgot to say there is another feature to keep people out. Um, yeah, so that's all that stuff. And then, if we go back to the front, right here, um, so there's the door. If anyone tries to come in, this piece can go up and down. Um, so when it goes down, it points there, or it can point up. Uh, let me turn my lamp off so it's not so blinding. Okay, there. Now it's like nighttime. Uh, and these are just flick missiles with teeth on it. 
So, um, they're sort of like spears. So, <clears throat> uh, now I'm just gonna do like a little, um, pan around the whole thing. So, Let me turn the lamp back on. There. Here's a closer look at the gold. Um, I have a total of four black scorpions, one snake, uh, one spider, three ants, um, a red scorpion. I have three crocodiles. I have a monkey and a parrot. Um, a skeleton. He was just a random minifigure I found. Then the four figures. So, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, this, wait, where is it? Is it? No. Uh, if you unhook this white piece and, uh, that black one, then you could take this whole branch off. But, um, I'm just gonna leave it because I think it looks neat. So, um, uh, let me spin it again. Yeah, so, so there is a look, again, inside. Once again, you can walk all the way around. So without, uh, this panel, it's playability inside. And what it does, it just goes right there. You could just set it there for easy takeoff. You don't really need to. It's okay if you... Why isn't that going on? Oh. It's okay if uh, you click it on. Um, it's not hard to take off at all. <clears throat> and um, this piece, if you didn't want it, it's only hooked on by that. So, uh, it's pretty easy. These, set, these pieces, I think, you can only get in the second... Uh, slave, well, the second slave one of Boba Fett, um, where you can get those. I don't think there's any others. Um, if if I'm wrong, please uh, tell me. Um, let me swivel this around again. Hold on. Okay, there. Sorry. Uh. So, this piece just goes right, what was it, was it, yep, yeah, here, right, here, two from this piece, three from that, um, and it's a really simple build, once you have those pieces, it's simple, you could keep it up, um, I personally like it to stay down, so you can, like, and it will balance there, right there, um, well, it will balance right there, but the second it goes past that, it falls. So, um, another look at this. So, yeah, that is my uh, first ever mock. Please uh, let me know if you like it, if you want to see more. Um, if you don't like it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. Um, once again, this is the jungle hideout. Um... Yeah, so this has been the uh, Brick Council. Please um, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.